Hello everybody, this is Pavel from Cost Viewer. Welcome to Advanced Relations course. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to define complex relations between senders and receivers using just one click. You may believe it or not, but you can really do it, achieve it with one click only. In previous tutorial I showed you how to define relations and choose a relevant cost base. But the way we defined relations, which I presented to you, would not be optimal in case you work with really larger trees. It would be a really time-consuming process to navigate through individual nodes and link individual senders and receivers. But instead of describing to you alternative way, let's jump straight into practical example. Let us assume I am a bicycle tire manufacturer I make tires and want to sell them to many retailers in my country. Let's say there are 10 retailers in my country. However, in order to succeed in entering into any business partnership with the retailers, first of all I need to get the endorsement, the recommendation from individual bike manufacturers. In other words, I need to pay Trek, Mongoose, Specialized and Scott so they would tell their receivers this tire manufacturer is recommended by us and his tires can be used in our bikes and we advise you to buy tires from him. In other words, that means Trek says pay me 100 so I would recommend your product. Scott price is 150 but only chargeable to bigger retailers whose turnover exceeds 30. Specialized quote is 200 and Mongoose 120. Moreover, I pay this charge up front, regardless of my future volume. So it is really a fixed fee. As you can see on right pane, some of my retailers sell track, some specialized and some do more than one or even two brands. And there is one retailer who does no named brands and one who does brands but who bought nothing from me so far. What I need to do is to allocate bike manufacturers fees onto relevant retailers using volume key. Question is how to do that. Using original approach I would start with checking notes on the left pane. But first let me erase all relations in the model. And then I would pick up relevant notes on the right pane possibly by for example filtering them out. and then check them and finally save relations. And repeat the process for each tire manufacturer. And that would work, but this is not really efficient process. What if I have dozens of retailers and they yet change their brands each year? I really need a better way for doing it. So, the alternative solution is to apply condition field. And in this condition I can enter, or copy paste from Excel, some logical formula, some conditions. Once I do it, I turn this magic button on. And then, make one click on this button. Before I run costing and show you what happens, let me explain to you what I have done. When I clicked on all to all button, I created a rule which says I want to split all my manufacturers charges onto all retailers. I could achieve the same by clicking top nodes of both trees and then clicking on save relations. But that would require three clicks and for larger trees checking top node of a tree may take a while as the program iterates through all nodes. I did it with one click though. Given I have four manufacturers and ten retailers my number of created relations is equal 4 times 10, that is 40. This is simple Cartesian product. These are 40 relations. However, given one retailer has no volume, 
my number of true allocations would be 4 times 9, that is 36. This is because the retailer with no volume would absorb no cost. Still, such relations make no sense, right? And this is where the conditions field plays major role. Because I turned on conditions, I really apply one more filter criteria on top of all others, which says, take my track fee and allocate it to all my retailers who have some volume and additionally they have track word in column T1. And because of that condition, other retailers who have no track name in this column will be ignored, even though there is a relation between track charge and those retailers. They simply fail to meet one more key criteria, which is track word in column T1. Likewise for Scott, on top of string criteria, I have applied one more, which says not only must a retailer sell Scott brand, but his turnover must exceed 30. As you can see, my column T1 was renamed to brand. But when building condition, I need to refer to columns technical names rather than their caption. Similarly, my volume column technical name is N1. Bear in mind that some of the retailers run more than one brand, hence they will be charged with more than one manufacturer fee. Let's run costing them. So I moved all my charges from one tree to another. As you can see, retailer 1 received mongoose fees. Retailer 2 received mongoose specialized and track fees. And so on and so forth. Now, if I turn this feature off and run costing again, my results will be 4 manufacturers charges split across 9 retailers. My calculation makes no sense now. I need to turn this functionality back on so my model would make much more sense. To summarize, is there any disadvantage between manually linking objects rather than setting up all-to-all -all relations and then applying conditions factor? The former approach is time-consuming when building it. The latter is fast in building and flexible but calculation might take longer. That's it. In this tutorial I have demonstrated to you how to define complex relations between senders and receivers and how to use conditions feature to facilitate it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.